multi-platinum recording artist, one of the most influential women in Latin music, the awesome Nati Natacha is on the move. Welcome, Nati. How are you? It's always good to see you. Thank you. Always great to see you too, Enrique. You know, just chilling here. Thank you for the beautiful introduction. <laughs> it's just shorten it up, but I can go on forever to talk about you. Let me tell yeah. you something. I'm excited and really excited that this year, Nati Natasha will be joining us at our iHeartRadio Fiesta Latina, Saturday, October 16th at the Amway uh, Center in beautiful Orlando, Florida. I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm extra excited. Uh, again, we're going to go finally on stage. I don't think there's a better adrenaline for me than that. Finally, with everyone, Orlando is going to be popping. It's going to be a party. Yes, it is. So you haven't actually been on a stage stage in a concert until October 16th with us. A long time. Yeah. First time. This is going to be really, really cool. Listen, you, you've had a very, very busy year. Uh, a new baby and your new uh, album, Natividad. Congratulations. Muchas felicidades. Thank you. It's been a busy year, huh? Gave birth. To, I pushed two times. <laughs> <laughs> you pushed twice. Twice. Which one, which one took more months? Yeah, I would say, I would say Natividad took more months. The project took way more time. It's just that it's a process, right? right. And right. we were in the middle of the pandemic and I'm like I just really want to listen to like happy music so that's how I actually started selecting the songs that I wanted in the actual album because I'm always working like I don't just stop at oh you know I have to give it I, I have to give 12 songs I actually just record I'm always recording I'm always creating new music I'm always in the studio so that was a selection from like 40 songs that I had recorded so I was like, I want the happy music because I know that if I need it, I know that people out there need it. And that's how everything started getting together. And of course, the, the album was produced by Grammy and Latin Grammy uh, winner Edgar Barrera, Looney from the Looney Tunes, uh, Dimelo Flow, DJ Young, and of course, the, the Mambo Kings. And there's 16 different And Daddy tracks. Yankee. Daddy um, Yankee was definitely there. Yankee yeah. también. Hello. Why the name and, and how did the name come about? Well, Nathalia? actually weird because even before I was pregnant, I remember that Yankee, Rafina and me, we were talking about, you know, it was a, it, we were in the process of like recording, creating different songs. And we were like, well, if we do an album, what we, we, what we would we call it? And I remember that we were like, well, Nathalie, that sounds hot. And we were like, well, hold on. You know, it is rebirth. We were like looking for all its meanings and everything. And I didn't even know I was pregnant. I did. Well, obviously, I didn't know I was a girl. I didn't know what her name was going to be. And then I'm pregnant and we're actually closing up the name and everything. We're like, yo, you remember Natividad? That's crazy. You know, it has my name. It has the baby's name. It's it means rebirth. And I would say rebirth of myself you know and um, and my whole surrounding and my life and how I feel right now so it's the perfect name it's weird definitely weird but it's definitely I feel like that's how destiny is that's how things actually happen well listen I think that both your babies this year have awesome and very original names number one your production <laughs> I think that you just explained and your baby uh yeah. vida, vida. vida life for those that don't speak espanol vida mm -hmm. what a beautiful Again, congratulations to you and to, you. And to Rafi. And, and I love the, the way you guys involved your fans also on social media, uh, coming up with the names for, for yeah, your daughter. Yeah, they help us choose. How original. How cool. How much fun. Yeah, yeah. It was fun. I mean, it's the first time that I've ever been like so public about my, my personal life. I've always been very private. And this moment was like, you know, I, I really want fans to just like, accompany me through throughout this whole process with the project and me being pregnant for them to, to be like a part of everything was very important for me and every time I can make them a part of things I do and they really love it so most celebrities and, and, and people in the spotlight decide to keep their you know their kids private you and Rafi have decided to involve her in in, in, in your in your in your public life Mm -hmm. Was that a difficult decision for you guys? Did you guys discuss no. that before? No, no, no. I mean, they were a part of the whole process. And like I said, I was so private before that this was just a moment that I felt very comfortable in, of doing it. They were a part of the whole pr uh, pregnancy, I think. They're all tias and tios, uncles and aunts. 
<laughs> and you know, they, they, it's, it's just blessings and blessings and blessings. And I feel like she's definitely our blessing. And, and we felt really comfortable in, in showing her. They, they uh, definitely deserved it. They gave me happiness. God bless they were, her. She has they were a, part of, a part of all my daily snacks. <laughs> God bless her. She has more followers than me on Instagram already. It's amazing. <laughs> Well, she she had she definitely had more followers than me in the beginning. Like, damn, bro. look at her. Getting back to your musical baby, Natividad. Right out the, right out the gate, it's already gold. Uh, a billion streams. What's different um, with this work that you've just com completed compared to all the other music that you've put out? Well, definitely. First thing is that my experience is a definite, a definite different Nadia Natasha from before. Experience always talks and, and shows. This time, besides that it was a, it's a beautiful moment and, and it was in the middle of a beautiful process in my life um, mm -hmm. of change and, and just happiness in general. I feel like it was also a very crucial moment because I said, you know, I don't know if people are going to understand that for a woman in the music industry, obviously, it's not very normal for them to do this urban thing, this urban project and have a kid. And I was like, am I really finding myself asking for permission to do two things that I love? And I'm like, I can't. This is the moment that is about sending a message also outside to the world. You know, I'm not going to change who Nati Natasha is. I will never change her essence. I've worked for her for so many years, that is also an example for girls out there that you can do it too. You know, you can do your music, you could do in any, in any work field, you could be, still be who you are and have a family and that's okay. You could be happy in all your, in all aspects. And that's what, I feel like that's one of the messages I sent out there. Every time that I can empower women out there, I do. And I'm happy. I'm really, really happy that I decided to just keep uh, keep working on that project because I started it with a very good reason mm -hmm. and it was to just give people happiness uh, through music. It's universal and it's Nati Natasha. I love that. And on that topic, Nati, you know, we're celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month and you are a Dominican superstar. You are a true representation of Latinidad <laughs> and uh, our Latin culture. And uh, you embody all of that. But now also as, as a new mom, what, what message do you want to send to hardworking Latina moms as yourself? That I know it's hard. <laughs> that I know it's not definitely not easy. I know they want to make it look like it's easy. I know it's not, not at all, because just to go work, you have to leave your kid and it's a hard moment. I don't think anyone would understand, but keep going because at the end of the day, your baby is going to see how much you fought for what you wanted. And you want to be that example of empowerment, of improvement, of growth, of, of all the positive things that your baby can see and say, well, my mom, even if the world was saying no, she said yes, and she made it happen. And that really is what it's all about. You got a new song with Maluma, uh, Imposible Amor. Is it true that Maluma, he liked the song so much that he wanted to take it from you, kind of like steal it? Yeah, from he was about to just put it in his album. And I'm like, well, no, <laughs> I love the song. I love the song. I love the beat, uh, the sound, the color, everything. It's like a dance hallish feel, very sexy. Uh, the video is on that um, Mr. and Mrs. Smith uh concept i loved it i loved working with him but yeah i was like it's my song gotta let it go now I'm very happy he collaborated very grateful that is really really cool uh, of course it includes um noches in miami i know it's one of your favorites i love the video that was very very nice and with becky g ram pam pam it's yes. had a lot of success love to see you collab with kazu she's so talented she's such a different right yes she is different i love i love talking to her too like yeah, she's, she's very, a good vibe. Yeah. She's, very, very, very intelligent. She's yes. a very strong but intelligent woman. She really is. Muy observadora. She's definitely, she observes and she no, definitely knows her, her surroundings. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. What a, and I, 
And of course, it includes Ante Que Salga el Sol con Prince Royce. What are the chances that we see Latina Tacha and Prince Royce, who's also going to be at our iHeartRadio Fiesta Latina in Orlando on October 16th? What are the possibilities of you guys singing that song together? Maybe it's a surprise. <laughs> interesting to me Enrique that might be something that we could do you know that's one of my favorite songs ever I actually I actually announced that I was pregnant with that song yes that was that song that was during premio he says yes yes I would definitely do it all right I'm gonna talk to him the Go moment ahead. we finish the conversation, I'll talk to Prince Royce to see if we can make it happen. And if he doesn't sing it, then I'll sing it with you. All right. Sing. I think that's great. Hola, if- uh, no, I think he sings better than I do. I love better. Try. We could try if he wants to, but it will be, you know, whoever wants to sing it. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew Thatcher will be on our stage at iHeartRadio Fiesta Latina 2021, Saturday, October 16th at the Amway Center in Orlando, Florida. Together with J Balvin, we have We Sing Yandel, Prince Royce. Uh, Simon Lennox, Lunai, Mariah Angelique, recibiendo the iHeartRadio Corazón Latino Award this year, the awesome Luis Fonsi. We have a bunch of cool stuff there. Tickets still available at Ticketmaster.com. También visitando iHeartFiesta.com. You can visit iHeartFiesta.com. Nati Natasha's new 16-track album called Natividad is now available also on the iHeartRadio app. Nati, all the best to you. Always great to see you. Saluda más, Rafi. Felicidades for Baby Vida. So happy thank for you, the Thank you. Thank you so much. Very happy that you love you like the album Natividad is gonna be out so enjoy it it's about good music and thank you and I'll see you soon yes you know I'm one of your biggest fans Natividad Natividad I'm your fan (laughs) I love you (laughs) 